All right, welcome back. This is just a little addendum video to our last one. We're going to illustrate some of the species that we talked about. So these are pruinosis. Uh, there's a wild type, which is right there. That's the wild style. How they're found in nature. This is after selective breeding. I thought I had some whiteouts, <clears throat> but I guess I don't. So this is two powder oranges right here. A really pretty pod. So these guys will breed like maniacs. Um, that in the middle there is a springtail. That is some microfauna. Um, and this guy here is what's called a powder blue. So they kind of stay with this weird powdery coloration or powdery, uh, almost a coating on them. And then they'll, they'll shed their little, they'll molt and they'll, oh, hold on. We have an escapee. Great. All right, so there's another powder blue that was an escapee right over here. Sorry, I needed both hands for that. Might be able to edit that out. So we'll put them back in their cup. We'll get to the next one. Um, they're staying right around the rim, which is kind of what I thought would happen. Okay. Uh, that's the last one. These are the clowns. Clue guy, Montenegro clue guy. Armadillidium Montenegro clue guy. So they can, you see they have like a red skirt. They have that one line of yellow dots down their back and the two lines of white spots. Oh, this poor guy. Come on, buddy. There you go. They're not super shy. These guys can ball up just in a total ball like the ones in your backyard, which they're somewhat related to. So there's a couple different morphs of these guys. There's uh, Dubrovniks and Black Pudding, um, which that has more of a purple body, less of the red skirt. Um, they're not very agile. <laughs> they just keep flipping over for some reason. This is the species I've not been able to breed yet. So I've had them almost since the beginning and not been able to have any babies with them. But this is one of my favorites. This is what got me into the, the hobby. Just the coloration on this. This is how they're found in the wild. So imagine that. They're out like, as far as I know, like Ukraine area. Let's get them into a cup. Whoop. We got a little runaway again. I spray painted these black so they can kind of climb these cups. All right, so this is the third star of the show. And we're going to have some more on tomorrow night. But these are the dairy cows, as you can see by their goofy markings. Whoop. They are cow-like, and they get pretty big, honestly. No, man. Generally, they're more white, more striking white with black. But I think I feed mine a little too much protein, and so they've turned this kind of a brown, like a Holstein cow, maybe? I don't know. But these guys are a staple in the hobby just because they're active, they're bigger, um, they're striking, they have cool markings, they're cheap, uh, they're escape artists. <laughs> these guys tend to be safety oriented, so they won't let go if they can't touch the table. This guy's a beast, so he can and he will, and he's gone. But that's how easy they are to catch, so for anyone that thinks that they just get away in my house, uh, they do not. And if they do, there's a host of spiders and whatnot that would be more than happy to welcome them into their clutches. Let's see if we can get that on there without pinning anyone. Did we manage it? We managed it. All right, there's one more I wanted to show you guys as a treat. So this is a... Oh, I can never remember the species name on this, and I don't have my notes. But this is a Troglodilus, I believe. So they have the same markings as the clowns that we saw, but they're a totally different gen uh, genus. So um, totally different body shape, totally different area that they come from. But they have that red skirt. They have the yellow dots down their back. Um, it's really cool. They've got like a white bottom. This guy's really playing dead. He's going for broke. I'm playing for dead. But he is not... I say he, but I think it's probably a female. 
These guys have not bred for me either, but I haven't had them very long. So literally every other species that I have has bred or had at some point had babies. So this guy's just the champion of playing dead. So that's the ones that we talked about. We didn't really talk about this species, but I wanted to show you pretty much next to the clowns. So here's the clowns with their markings. And here's this guy with his marking. Really cool. He is a champion playing dead guy. Um, he's been doing that to me since I got him out. So anyway, that's that. Uh, so we'll see you tomorrow night, hopefully, ISO buddies, for our live chat with Rachel from PetPeedsAndPods.com. Have a great night.